Guys, welcome back once again to my channel. Today we're gonna be checking out top ten largest crocodiles in the world. Just before we get started, don't forget I have a merch merch account for my equine channel, which you can check out in the link in the description. Oh, and I also put in the iCard. And also my merch account for both my channels. And I also have a Patreon account. Make sure you go check that out. Let's get started. Let's get started. Crocodiles and alligators are quite terrifying creatures, no matter what the size, but we here at Top 5 Best only want to give you the biggest and most ferocious. So today we're going to be counting down the top 10 largest crocodiles in the world. Make sure you stay tuned till number 1. The croc on that spot is probably the closest thing to Godzilla we're going to get. Number 10. The Tawi Tawi Crocodile. On the fateful night of September 9, 2017, a 16 feet 11 inch saltwater crocodile was captured by fishermen in Tawi Tawi, an island province in the Philippines. According to the local people, a local fisherman first spotted the crocodile a few days before the capture, but initially they thought it was just a wooden log. But it moved when he approached it and he then reported the incident to the officials. After that, an operation was quickly organized to catch the monstrous croc. It took the combined efforts of the local fishermen and government officials to finally subdue the croc, which was reportedly extremely aggressive. I, I don't think I can blame him either. A number of fishing nets were damaged and even a boat was wrecked as the people tried to capture the rampaging animal alive. They could have easily killed it, but Philippine law prohibits the killing of crocodiles and violators face imprisonment and a fine amounting to $2,000. In the end, the rampaging monster was finally captured. As of this recording, it is still alive and is under the care of the municipal government. Number 9. The Matara... But it was doing so well in the wild. If it was doing so well, why would, why would you capture it? Like... Why would you capture it? Crocodile and Jaws 3. It's a tie between two crocs at number 9 on our list. One of them wild and the other one raised in captivity. Which does prove one thing that crocodiles can grow to monstrous proportions both in the wild or in captivity. First up is a crocodile that was captured in Matara, Sri Lanka. Since dubbed the Matara Crocodile, it was found stuck in a canal leading off the Nawala River. At 17 feet long and weighing close to a ton, it's no wonder why it got stuck. A massive rescue operation was successfully launched and the croc was eventually released back into the river, with officials hoping that it learned its lesson not to crawl into tight spaces. Now, the other crocodile it's tied with was born and raised in captivity, and is literally the biggest attraction of the Madras Crocodile Bank Trust and Center for Herpetology, which is a reptile zoo and herpetology research station. This is all located miles south of the city of Chennai in the state of Tamil Nadu, India. Lovingly named Jaws 3, this massive 17-foot behemoth was born in the center itself back in 1970. No one expected it to grow to such proportions. He's also the favorite of the center's founder, Romulus Whitaker, who had a lifelong history with Jaws 3. Whitaker said that he even used to carry baby Jaws 3 under his arms in the 70s. Number 8. Gustav. Ha, <laughs> good old Gustav. I've actually talked about him in quite a few videos. Narrowly beating the two crocs occupying the number 9 slot on our list is probably Africa's largest crocodile. Named Gustav by the locals, he is 17 feet 2 inches long and reportedly weighs more than a ton. Those figures are estimates at best because no one seems to have the guts to capture Gustav to make the proper measurements. You see, Gustav is a Nile crocodile, a species that is known to be particularly vicious. Not only that, Gustav is also a known man-eater. Gustav is rumored to have disposed of more than 300 people who ventured too close to the shores of the Ruzizi River and Lake Tonganyika. And unlike most crocs who kill only for sustenance, locals report that Gustav also kills for pleasure, and also has a habit of picking off several people in an area, and then disappearing for a while before repeating the cycle. He's a modern day Pennywise the Dancing Clown and also has a very inaccurate movie based off of him called Prime Evil. He's kind of the real deal. Number 7. Gomek. Gomek was a large saltwater crocodile captured by George Craig in Papua New Guinea. He was purchased by Terry and Arthur Jones in 1985 and was kept in Ocala, Florida for five years before being sold to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoo. I saw him then! 
For eight whole years, he wowed spectators with both his amazing nutria-tossing abilities and his even more amazing tolerance of people. Feeders of the large croc were allowed to go into the enclosure and get as close as one meter from the large animal without any fear of attack. While feeders still used long tongs to feed Gomek, he was generally considered to be a tame crocodile, and he was the favorite of the alligator farm and people around the nation. I suppose the real question here is why he was kept in an alligator farm. Oh, well, I guess we'll never know, because after many years, Gomek died of heart disease on March 6, 1997. By then, he was a very old crocodile, and one of the large- I didn't see him, but I've heard, like, I, you know what I mean. ...largest and tamest captive crocodiles in existence. When he finally passed, he was 17 feet 8 inches long, and weighed a whopping 1896 pounds, as confirmed by St. Augustine Alligator Farm, and probably between 60 to 80 years old. There is a tribute to Gomek near his enclosure, which now houses his successor, Ma That's what I saw. When I was there, I saw this. Maximo and his mate, Sydney. Number 6. Cassius. This Australian saltwater giant has been claimed as the largest crocodile held in captivity and was recognized by the Guinness World Records as the world's largest crocodile in captivity in 2011. He is also probably one of the more vicious ones, and he has the battle scars to prove it. Cassius is missing his front left leg and tip of his tail due to vicious fights with other wild crocs. He was also considered quite the nuisance and had the habit of attacking boats in the Finnis River in the Northern Territory. He was finally captured in 1987 and now lives in Marine Land Melanesia on Green Island in Australia. The man who captured him, George Craig, is also his current caretaker and has been looking after the croc ever since its capture. He admittedly said that although they have formed some sort of bond, Cassius will not hesitate to try and eat him when given the chance. Cassius is 17 feet 11 inches long and is believed to be around 110 years old. He was named after another ferocious fighter, Cassius Clay, the birth name of boxer Muhammad Ali. Number 5. Yai. Yai is an Estrorene Siamese hybrid that lives in the Samut Prakan Crocodile Farm and Zoo in Thailand. The zoo claims that Yai is the world's largest crocodile currently in captivity, but that is one bold claim given the fact that he only lands on number 5 of this list. But just how big is Yai? Yai, also known by his full name, Zhao Yai, is reported to be anywhere between 18 feet and 19 feet 6 inches long. His length changes when referring to different sources, but whatever the accurate measurement is, there is no denying that he is absolutely massive. There is one thing, though, that record keepers seem to agree upon. That being, he is most definitely bigger than Cassius. However, Yai's claim to fame isn't limited to his massive size. He, like Gomek, is one of the tamest crocodiles you will ever meet, if you do meet one. He has built such a tolerance for people, so much so that he even allows his caretakers to give him a thorough cleaning. Even visitors of the park are allowed to get close to him without the fear of losing a limb or two. Number 4. Brutus. Brutus, as so aptly named, is another Australian saltwater crocodile that not only got famous for its size, but also its ferocity. He frequents Adelaide River in the Northern Territory of Australia, and like Cassius from earlier in this list, he shows the battle scars of his many skirmishes. He is actually missing one front leg, but the main difference between him and Cassius is that he doesn't pick a fight with other crocodiles. He prefers to duke it out with another apex predator. When he was captured to be measured, his missing limb was finally looked at more closely, and the biologist concluded that the stump where the leg should have been showed clear marks of shark teeth. Yes, you heard me correctly. Brutus here duked it out with one of the fiercest predators out there, which is known to invade fresh waters from time to time. That being the bull shark. What? Yeah! Brutus was officially measured at 18 feet 4 inches and weighed almost a ton, big enough to land him the fourth spot on this list. Number 3. Bujang Sanang, or Bujang Sanang. Well, however you pronounce its name, it is a massive saltwater crocodile and it was living in Borneo, terrorizing the people residing within its territory. According to the local residents, he was an avid man-eater. Some people even claimed that he had been around and attacking and killing for at least 30 years. Like with most cases like these wherein an animal is actively killing humans, legends sprouted about this massive croc. With this particular croc, his size was greatly exaggerated. He was at first thought to be 25 feet long. 
Since he was such a notorious man-eater, it was decided that hunting the massive beast was for the best, and finally on May 20th, 1992, he was finally killed. He was officially measured post-mortem and was officially tagged at 19 feet 3 inches. Not enough to be the biggest crocodile ever recorded, but enough to land him on the third spot on this list. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be breaking tradition for a change and not put today's best pick in the second spot. In fact, he was already mentioned earlier in this list, and you'll get what I mean in a few seconds. As you can see, today's photo shows a massive crocodile chasing down a child. Now, while it is possible that crocs often chase down their prey despite their lumbering size, and also the possibility of crocs chasing after children seems pretty likely, this photo is actually doctored, with the running kid added after the fact. The original photo was actually of Gomek, the tame croc that appeared at number 7 on our list, and now, back to our list. Number 2. The Dominator. It turns out that Brutus here isn't the biggest fish in the pond, or rather the biggest croc in the river. He actually shares his territory with another saltwater giant, even much. Good to see you. Yeah, hey, what's with the polka dots? No, what do you mean? Polka dots are out. It's polka squares now. Much larger than him. But although much larger, judging by the completeness of his limbs, seemed to be more mild mannered than his three legged comrade. Mild mannered or not, his sheer size is more than enough to deter anyone from getting into a scuffle with him. Or even approach him. And that includes humans. Dominator has never been officially measured or weighed. The figures that are available are based solely on estimates. But even so, there's no denying that he is huge, one of the biggest crocs ever. He is estimated to be at least 20 feet long and weigh over a ton. Of course, these are estimated figures, so he can actually be much larger than that. But until the official numbers come out, he remains at number two on this list. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, it really works. Number one, Lolong. Measured at 20 feet, 3 inches, and weighed 2,370 pounds, Lo Long was the largest crocodile in captivity. He was also the biggest crocodile ever measured from snout to tail. Lo Long was an Indo-Pacific or saltwater crocodile. Australian crocodile expert Dr. Adam Britton notes sedated and measured Lo Long in his enclosure in November 2011, and confirmed him as the world's longest crocodile ever caught and placed in captivity. Lo Long was suspected of eating a fisherman who went missing in the town of Bunalon and also of consuming a 12-year-old girl whose head was discovered two years earlier. He was also the primary suspect in the disappearances of seahorses in the area. In the examination of the stomach contents after his capture, remnants of water buffaloes reported missing before Lo Long's capture were found, but no human remains. He was caught in the Bunalon Creek in the province of Agusan del Sur in the Philippines on 13th of September 2011. His capture was a joint effort by local residents, the local government, and they even flew in expert croc hunters from the neighboring province of Palawan. If the sheer size of the operation is any indication, Lo Long was absolutely huge. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much.